during rush hour. And I think during off peak hours, the three is like 15 minutes apart. For the two, always two, it's like 24. I'll get that goes on the half hour apart. In that situation, I'll just, if I do just went by, I'll just go to Safeway. I have that somebody that's going to sell them, right? I have just, I got no phone. It's not that way. Anyways, if I find out the two went by, or someone sees the two go by, I'll just grab the 300 or 301 go sell them, get on 78 and uh, then. So I'll get up to 78 and center on the Sorry. south side. I just walk up to my house to be a lot faster and waiting half an hour for the two. Yeah, that's the best. Yeah. They got the cam, they got the cameras set up. Yeah, but these cameras over here, the only bad thing about these particular cameras is that, no, it's not, no, it's not that, it's that it, it's that it, it loops, of, it loops over itself. You know what I mean by that? So it is where the picture just keep on. So it takes a current picture, but it just rolls and just keeps up itself, yeah. So it's not even no good if there's an accident, but you can't get the picture. Yeah. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's distorted. It's gone. 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 It's I would, I, would been, I would have been at my destination at least 10 minutes sooner. And of course that affects my next transfer bus number two, right? And I would be able to catch that one. First, if I just going to get the I saw so that there was two other things. Crazy how much mileage these buses put on, eh? Yeah. 
Some of them drive for 21 hours a day, so. But you know what's better though? Yeah. Is that some, when you get the first good snowfall, they slip and slide right, and they can't change these tires because they are too much labor intensive work, so they got old seasons on. But they had all weather on. It's ready for snow and ice. And it'd be like a second. So it would be good for summer too, you know, and take them off. But they are slowly up at the buses with all weather tires. And Calgary has like a fleet of like over 600 buses, eh? That's yeah. a lot of buses. But I'm, what I'm trying to say is that slowly, as, as they can afford it, they should change all the buses over to all weather tires from all seasons. Because so they, they suck in the snow. Well, minus seven, all seasons lose all the traction. But, uh, but all weather is a different story. All weather is actually rated for snow and ice too. For snow and ice too. Especially these articulated buses, they slide like crazy yeah. in the But I'm saying if they have those if they have these kind of tires on, it's called yeah. all weather. Oh rated, yeah. All, rated for snow and ice and snow rather than all seasons which are not. But if you get to like below minus seven Celsius, all seasons are garbage. Yeah. That's true. If they had all weather, I guess yeah. they and like it doesn't matter if it's a 40 foot if they all had it right oh, I, I, i've already already said several times Calgary kinds of put all weather seat put all weather tires on your tire on, on your fleet then you wouldn't be so late right buses run like an hour late when well, they wouldn't be slipping and sliding in the first major hmm. snowfall yeah or the first snow or the, that storm 20 centimeters of snow and a lot of Calgarians have asked, where's the all-weather tires on the buses, and you know. Well, I've asked too. Yeah. For example, this is 301. If 301 shows up 20 minutes late, that's why. Well, that or sometimes, you know, that there's, there's been an accident or you've got a detour or whatever stuff. So. Sometimes situations are definitely avoided. Or the bus breaks down, yeah. there's a coolant leak or something. There's something else, if the bus breaks down, rather than sending a replacement, you have to wait for the next bus. You have to wait for the next scheduled bus to come. For example, and it's got to come out of the particular garage, right? Like, this bus is from Stony Facility. So that bus would have to come out of Stony, right? Well, what about, because I know this Victoria Park and I know this old for Anderson. <laughs> Anderson shut down. They yeah, don't have any buses going on. Because I see, I thought I see those buses still when I take the 24 and I go by, oh Anderson, okay, I'm talking about Victoria Park. Anderson mm -hmm. shut down, you said, okay. Yeah. When, when did Anderson shut down? Uh, May. Well, it's partially open, but only for sea train. Oh, are you talking about the building itself? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. They only have C train mechanics in there. And then the bus part of the garage is shut down. I wonder why that is. That's stupid. Y yeah, exactly. They could probably take some of these articulated buses to well, you, Anderson. Well, you know what they can do? It'd be a lot slower. But our, uh, I've been in Phoenix and you got the, the Valley Light Metro buses there. And you got those turnstiles when you come on the door and uh, and you get on. It, it, it's right up about kind of so it blocks you so you can't get further into the bus. And you have to pay your fare to the fare box, the driver, whatever. And when he's satisfied, he pushes his button, whatever. Then the thing goes and then you can then you can go on your way. It's a lot slower, but then it's a lot, it's a lot more revenue generating because it's because then you, you're forced to pay your fare. Yeah. And the bus uh, the bus will not move until. Oh, yeah. well, I seen one driver in a, in, a, in a situation like this. The bus the bus wouldn't move till the passenger came forward and paid his fare. That because the driver suspected somebody came on without paying a fare, and exactly that was what happened. He was open, the bus would go on, and nobody would notice anything. But the driver did and just say, "I'm not going to move this bus." And he had to get out eventually, right? I mean, he had to get a fee. A lot of times when the buses overheat too is when it gets hot here, right? The engine lights come on sometimes, yeah. but they're constantly being used. 
Yeah, but if you have enough coolant in it, yeah. you got to, if you if you got like a transmission, uh, like I had a uh, extra cooler transmission cooler and I had a car, not no more. If you got that, and if you got a good cooling system and rad system and everything, then your cooling system should be fine. The, the, the bus should not be overheating. Yes, but unfortunately, there has been some instances where, yeah. But you make a valid point. Good cooling system. The bus should be able to go and do its normal. Well, it's properly maintained. Yeah. There's another reason why I won't buy a vehicle anymore because even electric. Because I got a year to go to retirement. Yes, I just I, I just don't want to be saddled with the cost of uh, of maintaining the vehicle. Uh, too oh yeah. I mean, as it is, I, I, I've got I've got my uh, about a good renovated. Thank goodness. A lot of stuff's been done to it, but um, I've got my condo maintained. Rather than, and, and rather than putting a new bathtub in or bath fitter uh, over the old tub, I got, I got my, uh, I got my, I got my bathtub in. I got my bathtub raised. That's true. Oh yeah, I had, I had to get it done again because you know, some of the spots start to crack. So they said no problem. They wanted first of all they wanted a picture. I could give it to them. I got an old digital camera. Um, I won't be able to do that. You just got to come by my face, you know, that this isn't, you know, your, the, the glaze is starting to go. And they came, and yeah, they glazed my place, yeah. I mean, they, part of the place, my place, they glazed their bathtub. But also, I had, I, I had the modeling work done in my bathroom. I got, like, modern, like, uh, contemporary bathroom, you know, with the, with the modern splashboard type deal. And I got one big one. Bit of under my ear and from my lights in the bathroom, and that makes a huge difference. It's more modern. Oh yeah, then, then, then even even my floor is uh is what is what they call a status max best, and it's it's it, it, it's twenty it's twenty or twenty five year. I did my did my uh did my particle board, not particle board, but my final board I got or base board. Three quarter inch stick instead of instead of half inch stick. Yeah. And I got a nice carpet in, in, in my bedroom. And uh, it's, it, 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 it's colored such a way black and a bit of this gray, whatever. Or white. Just really accentuates the uh, room. And uh, it makes it feel a lot warmer. And even though the carpet under under it is shot, the uh, so so it's not actually so so I learned. I learned from that it's not the actual underlay of the place I thought it was shot, it's just a carpet, that's all it is. But, so yeah, so my place has been very well maintained. And uh, I got also, I got a uh, real good furnace system. And I got uh, what, the, the, small, the smaller one, and they don't make them no more, thank goodness, because I wouldn't be able to get it. But I got a smaller one in the RX-1700 uh, uh, box. And it's, it's a Sonya box, and it's, and it's a UV filter. And even those bikes, you gotta be careful putting them in, you can't touch them with your hand, your fingers. It, it'll, it'll bust. Most likely, like 300 bucks a pop, those lights are. Yeah. You know, this is the same thing with their old C train cars, too. They don't make parts for them anymore. They're, uh, and they're very worn out. They had like, Four decades of service. Yeah. I'll, I'll tell you something else. And you might want to consider this. Uh, I was watching Blue Scott's yesterday on the, on, the, on the National. Yeah. And Andrew Chang was there. And this guy was there that's testing his masks. So a mask like what you're wearing, sir, anyway. So Andrew says, well, this must be good. Right? He tested it, says two. And the guy says, no, that's, that's bad. He goes, what do you mean? Because it's, it's letting some of the air out, right? But the only way how to keep the air from escaping and when you start breathing you start breathing by the way is you gotta have a so you gotta have a uh, N95 mask. Wow. So you might so you might want you might want to consider replacing the getting an N95 mask. Even the mask you got goes on N95 is better than that. And you can get them so they cover your nose just like that right you can get up at the bottom you know and uh, yeah. yeah. I'm going to ask out of curiosity if they know how much 
much your price is going to be used. Do you, do you think you might know what, what your price is going to be used? Do you use on this JBR Quantum uh, One headsets the day before the sale? Because the sale starts, starts tomorrow. I'm just, I'm just having, I'm just having one set aside, and I'm going to go there tomorrow and pick it up. And I, but I got to go safe and I got to get myself done. I'm going to skip no. Oh, and I found this too. Oh, this is going to work perfectly. And uh, you know, just like that, good, right? And I need that because I'm not going to get my ear. I don't know how much my ears are. We're back in 1972 and I need that. I'm going to lose my jacket. I've got like two jackets with no lid. So I'll just, when I'm wearing one of those jackets, I'll get into the wind time. I'll just go home and give it a little money switch. It'll work great. Yeah, and I found it on the front of the sidewalk. I couldn't leave it. Somebody must have dropped it. Get up at the next stop. We'll do a couple more. Eh? It's nice out, eh? It's not cold. And I gotta get my uh, jacket off. I'm getting uh, warm. Have a good day, sir. Yeah. Have a good day. Yeah.